Flag is up. All set. Gates crash open. And they racing away to a good start. Woodland Sage was the first one to go. Up there too is Bay Style. Arlington is in the mix and Enchanted Rock at the outside of the leading group. Overcame all and went to the lead. Enchanted Rock took them to the corner turn. Jack's Jet raced up into second. Woodland Sage is back in third. Then comes Won't Wait, who's three lengths off the early leader. Bay Style is half a length away. Then came Arlington. Military award is towards the rear. Pilau from a deep draw has slotted into about seven lengths off the leader and about eight lengths away to discoverer who can't go with them past the 800 meters board. Enchanted Rock will guard them into the strip by one length. Second place is Jack's Jet. Up towards there inside is Woodland Sage. He's been given the run of the race. Won't wait the red sleeves and white cap at there outside. It's two to three lengths off the leader. Then comes Bay Style. Arlington is hooked out for a run. Military award down the inside. The blue sleeves has got about four lengths to make up and Pilau in the middle of the course is going past quite a few into the last 400 meters. Enchanted Rock now joined by Woodland Sage. Pilau's on the charge towards the inside. Military award. Arlington is towards the grandstand side bay style is next it's woodland sage on the lead pilau military award down the inside woodland sage sticks to his task pilau and military award are trying to do the chasing it's woodland sage he's ducked towards the outside but he's got the race in the bag woodland sage one arlington second third got close pilau and military award are involved Let's have a look at the closing stages. It's Woodland Sage who will come out on top in the first race today. Craig Zaki gave this horse absolutely every chance. Slotted in on the rail in third, just behind the leaders. He does uh, experience quite a bit of the turpentine straight, but he had the race sewn up. Second will go to Arlington, I believe, over Pilau, and then came Military Award. Hard up on the inside, only managing fourth. A breakaway to Bay Style, Enchanted Rock, the longtime leader. And uh, quite a few of these were way back. Won't wait, Discoverer and Jack's Jet. So let's have a look at the head-on replay. And the winner is towards the middle, or in between runners rather, the black sleeves and the red cap, Woodland Sage. Craig Zaki really is riding nicely at the moment. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if he were to be riding in South African colors this time next year, the way that he's currently going. Woodland Sage, the son of Russian Sage, trained by Gary Alexander in the colors of Buddy and Jeff Zaki, is out the maidens at the seventh attempt. Just trying to pick up number one, Woodland Sage, the four-year-old son of Russian Sage, um, as he returns back to the winner's enclosure. The four-year-old, having his seventh outing today, has come through for a good win, a hard ride here by Craig Zaki. He did have a good draw, but um, he had to get him going, and he was still hanging around a little bit, so there could be more to come from the son of Russian Sage. Only having his second start for the Gary Alexander stable, and he's got his maiden victory. He's beaten home number eight, Arlington, a nice performance here by the son of Paul's Fork, probably looking for a bit further under Pierre Stratum for trainer Robbie Sage. Third, going the way of the favorite, number 10, Palau, from the Sean Terry stable with Samanga Kamalo, a nine military award under Waishong Mooing for Wao Mooing has rounded off the quartet. And about to return into the winner's area is number one, Woodland Sage. A four-year-old Golding by Russian Sage out of geared up by All Fired Up. He was bred by the Rue brothers, training as the Henham stud. Winning owners, Buddy and Jeff Zaki. Well done to Khalil and the rest of the family. Good job to them. It's Gary Alexander, the winning trainer. Well done to Gary and uh, the rest of the team, to Dean and everybody else. And Craig Zaki, the winning jockey. And like I said in the slow motion, wouldn't surprise me if uh, he's riding in South African colors this time next year, the way that he's currently going. Provisional results, 1, 8, 10, and 9. Barpot starts 
in race number two. That is due off at five to one. the four-year-old son of Russian Sage, number one Woodland Sage, that opens up proceedings on Jackie's International Race Day at Turfentine Racecourse this afternoon. A strong ride by jockey Craig Zaki for the Gary Alexander stable, and he's come home in the Buddy Zaki Silks. Very nice ride, because uh, he's not the easiest of horses, but I thought he went down beautifully to the start. He was on his toes a little bit. He's a little bit of a boy, but I still think a little bit more to come from him. Definitely, Jules. Um, like you said, he, he went down to the start nicely, and that's what actually gave me a little bit of confidence, you know. He, he's got his issues, soundness problems, and uh, Miss Alexander, and he seemed just sort of uh, uh, overcame them, and I mean, it's going beautiful, and I mean, he's not stopping yet. I thought he'd win earlier in his career, and with the problems, he was just a bit um, hesitant, and hopefully it's all overcome now, and uh, he'll go on from here. I thought you, you moved up and uh, I thought, well, he's, he's being challenged all over the place. They're going to come and uh, run past him. But he actually picked it up again and uh, he won well. Yeah, uh, he's looking for ground. Um, he took a bit longer uh, to get going than I thought. You know, his work at home is much more sharper than that. And I just <laughs> took my time with him. Uh, I didn't want to break that action of his. I mean, if I do, he's out the back door. And yeah, he, he kept... Uh, galloping in a gallant way and he held off his rivals nicely. Things are going really well for you at the moment, Craig, so keep up the good work and it's nothing like having a bit of confidence when you're getting on these horses and you certainly do that. No, thank you, Jules. It's a, it's a pleasure. Um, just thanks, Scott and Miss Alexander. They've been uh, supporting beyond me since last year, you know, and it just uh, I'm just glad I could uh, do do all for them and to Uncle Khalil, Buddy, Auntie Lam, Jeffy, Buddy Boy, they're all here. Yeah. Just a big thanks to all of them. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Nice way to start the day, Gary, and uh, a nice sort. Julie's is going to get better, I think, especially when he goes mile 1800. That's gonna, he's going to be better suited to that trip. Um, but, you know, he's improving, which is nice. He's a nice big horse. Maybe only coming into his own at this stage in his career. But uh, well done to Jeff and Buddy and, of course, Khalil. And uh, Henham Stud for breeding a nice sort. And our sponsors, Odyssey Steel and Dish. You've got some nice runners, but competitive racing this afternoon. I see Matsuri's back at Turfentine, and she's coming up next. Yeah, I wouldn't leave any of my runners out. I think uh, they all got their chances in their own field. Uh, I think from Jan, uh, Shabum Shabum may be my best. And of course, Fangia, I wouldn't leave him out. He's been working well. There's a competitive field. And of course, Flying Dream in the web. They, they got their chances, so if they're playing around, put them in. Congratulations. Thanks, Julie. Well done to Gary Alexander, Uncle Khalil, Buddy Zaki. Let's have you guys in. Nice to see the red and black silks. Yeah, thank you, Jules. It's about time, man. <laughs> and I thought he went down beautifully to the start, yeah, so it must have given you a bit of confidence. He did, Jules. You know, he's absolutely a lovely horse, and we loved him. You know, uh, Dominic actually picked this horse for me, so I'm grateful to Dominic for picking such a nice horse for us. It took a bit of time, but you know, now it's come out and paid her. And I want to just say thanks to Gary, Dean, top guys and um, to Craig for an awesome rider and my son would just want to say something. I want to wish my mom happy birthday. There we go. Well done. Uncle Khalil, Hello, lovely. <laughs> How are you, I Julie? love the kisses. I said to you earlier, as long as you're having the winners, you can kiss me. hundred times. I've got four, another three runners and I hope they all win so I can have a kiss with you. Well, you dressed the, the black and red, so you must have had a bit of confidence. I did. Gary gave me a bit of confidence, you know. Congratulations. Lovely to have you on course as well as the family. Thank you, Julie. God bless. And well done. I just want to say thank you to Gary, Dean, Craig, and hello to my wife upstairs. You know, I hope she never saw me kiss you, but <laughs> don't worry. Well thank done, you. Uncle thank Khalil. You. Congratulations. Well done to the Zakis. As number one, Woodland Sage has come through the four-year-old son of Russian Sage under Craig Zaki for the Gary Alexander Stable. And well done to Henham Stud, bred by Roos Brothers.